countering extremism through civilizational diplomacy. Diplomacy. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. As yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. As please go ahead. Please. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And greetings, everyone. I am Dr. Sadra Tariq Jamil, serving as a communications expert with ISESCO's uh, Center for Civilization and Dialogue in Morocco. I would like to begin by thanking the organizers for putting together this apt and pertinent conference at a time when extremism dominates international affairs. It is thus imperative on all of us to not only focus on the problem, but also prefer solutions. We need to think out of the box to counter extremism, which is a scourge on human dignity. Taking therefore a more ideational approach by looking at the extremism issue through the social constructivist lens, I'll be presenting today my thoughts and insights on countering extremism through cultural knowledge and civilizational competence. To begin with, it has to be explicated that Islam is a religion that celebrates seeking knowledge and Islamic epistemology underscores the centrality of internalizing knowledge as a precursor to applied reasoning that is rational and logical. Even though it has long been said that a little knowledge is a dangerous thing, we must not cease acquiring knowledge in terms of lifelong learning that can benefit society by celebrating diversity and espousing inclusivity. In congruent with promoting international peace and global harmony, we must seek and apply knowledge in building less walls and more bridges. We must model our educational system in such a way that it is pertinent to the values and virtues of tolerance. We must emphasize the role of youths to be purveyors of tolerance, especially on the social media front. We must empower more women to be at the forefront on promoting tolerance. The idea here is that the more we promote tolerance, the more effective we can battle extremism. It is noteworthy that as knowledge seekers, we are cognizant of using the correct terminology when talking about extremism. At the most fundamental, it is worth distinguishing between nonviolent and violent extremism. One can hold extremist views, but not necessarily resort to violent actions. But one can also be violent, which we tend to describe, though not always, as, ex as terrorism. A radicalization can also culminate in both nonviolent and violent extremism. And one can also be self-radicalized due to uh, pervasiveness of propaganda on social media. We need to continue accentuating the cultural dimension in countering extremism. I would contend that cultural knowledge is vital and necessary to combating extremism. Knowledge about culture means we become more aware about the values, beliefs, behaviors, and history of at least one cultural group, or in most instances, multiple cultural groups. By doing so, the extremes of these cultural groups are rooted out <laughs> and the moderates are, sorry? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, it's okay. Ah. It's okay. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Sidra, go ahead. All please. right. Thank you. And the moderates are the torch bearers for peace and harmony between different cultural communities coexisting in a domestic society. 
cultural okay. knowledge is synonymous with cultural intelligence or competence as it enables us to move beyond imposed tolerance to harmonious integration it necessitates active listening demonstrating empathy and effective engagement on the part of government and society as a means to engendering multicultural tranquility promoting interfaith dialogue intercultural communication and civilizational cooperation which are examples on application of cultural knowledge are at the heart of what we do at our assesco center for civilizational dialogue civilizational competence is about having requisite knowledge about the idea of civilization in order to exercise good judgment geared towards building up strategic trust for deepening cooperation through dialogue and diplomacy we can think of civilization as a complex form of an interconnected society held together by enduring socio political structures negotiated by the state through governmental institutions i would propose here that emanating from civilizational competence is cultural technopreneurship that can help counter extremism this interdisciplinary notion of cultural technopreneurship entails the triangular relationship of culture technology and entrepreneurship working in tandem to uplift and enliven society and in so doing help strengthen the social compact between the government and the people the more society prospers institutions are strengthened technology is embraced and the spirit of entrepreneurship is promoted the less likely it is for extremism to germinate or flourish looking ahead we cannot effectively counter all forms of extremism if we do not emphasize the importance of cultures and civilizations in both understanding the problem of extremism in an, in all its manifestations and providing innovative solutions to neutralize it i have proposed in my remarks that the acquirement of cultural knowledge and internalization of civilizational competence are diplomatic remedies to counter extremism this ideational form of thinking provides us with an alternative way of looking at a protracted pr- problem through the prism of social constructivism whereby in this case extremism is what we make of it civilizationalism underpinned by islamic values or islamic civilizationalism can also provide us with a useful blueprint in conducting an islamic oriented global diplomacy to counteract world extremism i will end my remarks with this famous quote which goes as follows knowledge in power power is wisdom wisdom is understanding by the same token extremism will need to be countered not just by acquire, acquiring knowledge but rather applying the acquired knowledge to effect change by proffering innovative solutions to neutralize the existential threat of violent extremism at the domestic national regional and international levels knowledge is power and that power is in each of each one of us to be the agent of change to counteract violent extremism countering extremism begins at home and with individuals exercising personal responsibility thereafter as a collective we can make a substantive and substantial impact principally helping to preserve global harmony and international peace in the spirit of humanity thank you very much for your kind attention thank you